So remember, what I can do is I can graph these. I can graph these two functions. And again, this goes to my point as far as just graph. You have, like I have pictures of them all over the, all the walls. You have notes on them. You shouldn't be able to sketch what the graph generally looks like. Um, 1 over x, reciprocal function, is over there. For all values of x, looks like this. Correct? The square root function for all values of x is right over there. So that looks like this. Right? However, it's not asking us, or this function is not asking us to graph for all values of x. It's saying, I only want you to graph 1 over x when the x values are less than 0. So again, we got to remember, well, when are the x values, x-axis, less than 0? So that's going to be all x values to the left of the y-axis, correct? So that means this 1 over x function, this portion of it, is not within my constraints. So on my pencil, I'm just going to erase what I kind of drew. Then it says, um, and it's OK that it's less than because it approaches an asymptote. So I can just leave it like that. And then this, square root of x for all values greater than or equal to 0. Well, greater than or equal to, so I'm going to use a closed point. And then obviously, the graph is already greater than or equal to 0. So there's really nothing else I had to do. Now, we should understand, though, um, I didn't, this problem didn't ask you to do this, but I might, on a quiz or a test, hint, hint, wink, wink, ask you to, to determine the domain. So let's go and take a look at this graph and then domain and try to see if we can understand the domain and range. So we see that this graph is going infinitely to the left. So we go negative infinity. And then how far to the right are we going? Well, you can see that this graph doesn't go to 0, right? Yes? But this function does have a value at 0. So is 0 covered for a function? Is 0 covered for a function? Yes. So we can go negative infinity to infinity. The range, you can look at. This graph goes infinitely down. Even though this doesn't go to 0, we have this function does go to 0, and that goes to infinity. So the domain here and range is negative infinity to infinity, and the do domain is negative infinity to infinity, and the range is negative infinity to infinity. And I talked about evaluating. Yes, question? No, it's still a discontinuity. Um, yeah, because remember.